okay <clears throat> in this video i'm going to show you how to unpipet the data but before i show you how to unpipet the data using the unpipet transform i will show you that is the continuation of the video that was done for pipet data in the pipet data i had used the union all as a destination now i will show you just removing the union all and taking the data to the putting it back to the access i have created this table known as pivot it has id and for the currency you can see i have 1 to 16 and the id is also there now if you go to the pivot information you can see the output column is there it has exactly the same thing uh let's go to this thing and if you see the ol data and if you see the pivot table if you see the preview okay it is open that's why it's creating a problem okay now that being done we have everything same let's close it and if you see want to see the mapping you can see the mapping here data has to go to this table in the access database now i'm going to run it's going to create some problem because the package has actually i had moved the packet to other place and brought it back but doesn't matter we continue it and it is will is going to work fine no problems at all all the data has moved now if i want to see the data if you see go to the pivot minimize it you can see the data is there as it is exactly as it is, as we want it now that being done let's move to the uh let's add uh let's add a new package called new package let's call it we have on pivot on pivot already so let me rename it to on pivot 2 on pivot transform 2 on pivot transform 2 and let's use it yes let's track the data flow from the and uh, double click the data flow let's track the olabdb source olabdb source is our new uh, let's go to the this thing uh, now i'm going to use because i'm going to unpivot the data i'm going to use the pivot data that has already been i have just generated here after running the pivot package and then i'm going to close it and you can see the columns all are listed correctly click okay now i am going to bring the unpivot unpivoting is rather much easier than the pivot if you go to the you can see now we have we do not have to choose all the available column what we have to choose is 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we are going to unpivot so we are going to put this thing into the column amount if you are not very sure let's go and look at the table before so i will just say amount we are not going to touch any other field except the that was transform before so this is the amount 
diet was transformed so we are going to unpip it and we should have the same data before we created a pivot data and just to leave it here pivot key value uh, amount as you can see I am going to put it sales custom or ID and I am going to click OK and I am going to use a union all because I am not going to create because that data already exists already so I am just going to union all and I am going to use the grid add the grid and you can see add grid click OK OK and I am going to execute this uh, that there is going to be a problem little bit but we are going to have the correct data as you can see the data has been correctly been generated and you have the IT that was there 1 to 18 that 1 to 16 as you can see and then we have the day then we have the ID this is the unpivot data again it has gone back to the same thing as we where we started before pivoting the data now let me explain you one more thing before I end it if you see which is important is that I have only used this co these columns definition only 16 because 16 these were the 16 actually I had used before to transform now I am doing the same thing in the reverse manner and I'm just and I've rest left the other other as just as a pass through if you can see the others are getting passed through that's it and this is 1 to 16 is going to the this column as you can see and that's it that's how the uh, how you can unpivot the data thank you very much for watching bye bye